It's very early. Didn't get much sleep. Not gonna help the whole tired thing, but I get the chance to run some locals and that's kind of what I want to do. So I think we're gonna do a couple runs today. This is the first of two. Seven AM local is early and I know I went to bed saying that I'm tired I'm sorry I'm I'm still tired but I can't pass up a run with locals it's nice to be awake and watch the sunrise because damn Georgia has a good sunrise that was beautiful Run number one is done. Short couple miles uh, around town, beautiful town, awesome people. Uh, Brian and I are awake more. I think we have another run we're gonna do with some friends here uh, as well. So a couple more miles and then we're gonna head out to Chattanooga. Brian, it's uh, it's Chattanooga today. We're going to Chattanooga, Chattanooga tonight. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm really excited. I've never been to Chattanooga. Kind of like Asheville, I've heard it's a great outdoor town. Excited to meet everybody, excited to travel. Brian doesn't know this, but I'm probably gonna be napping for 99% of the the drive, so Brian's going to be in charge of, of getting us there. It's just as well. I like driving. So. <laughs> All right, good run. We are now at destination number two for run number two. This is Sandy Creek Park. It's huge and beautiful. Uh, so Dustin has taken Brian and I on a a little loop for some additional miles before we head back out on the road to Chattanooga. It's a real, real pretty part of Georgia. You guys do it right up in Athens. I'm crumbling right now, falling off the pack. Oh man, the tires have caught up with me. They're definitely affecting my run. So, I'm gonna slow it down, just take it easier. I can't get lost because the trail just goes right back to the parking lot. Real pretty. Real pretty, perfect temperatures. So, I'm just gonna hang tight and enjoy it while I can. Because we'll be in the car for a bit today. Gorgeous. That's amazing, dude. Oh, I drank a little of that water. <laughs> How's it feel? It's good. It's good. We literally came across a polar plunge as we're finishing our run. That couldn't have been timed any better. <laughs> well done. Thanks. If I could swim, I would have jumped in, uh, but the last thing they'd want is a drowning ginger, so. You know, I mean, the timing was amazing. They were lined up and getting ready to go right as we were wrapping up our run, and just felt like the right thing to do. Plus, I knew it would surprise you guys and get a reaction, so. <laughs> Dustin? Yeah. Thank you for the run, man. Yeah, glad you guys came out. Beautiful. I mean, we basically did the whole perimeter of that lake. Yeah. Real, real beautiful backyard you have here. Thanks, man. You got That's it. Good. Thanks for the tour and the hospitality. Thanks, yeah. Dustin. You're all wet. <laughs> all right, we're back at the house. Gonna pack up and uh, hit the chat to Nuka. Read some of the comments on today's ginger bits, and of course, it's Ethan. You look tired. Yeah, I think uh, getting a couple hours of sleep each night isn't helping, and I'm also realizing that the beard, the beard is coming in, and it's in that stage between sexy scruff and full-on mountain beard. Right now it's in homeless, decrepit, enjoy it for the next uh, 48 hours before it becomes Hal Corner sexy magazine cover man. So Bruce the dog you met last night, this is the kind of damage that Bruce can inflict on uh, personal items. Such a wonderful dog and so cute, but look at what he's done. <laughs> is this fairly normal, Dustin? Uh, it's not the first time he's eaten a Garmin, you can say that much. Dustin, oh. Captain, <laughs> thank you so much guys, really, really appreciate it. 
Brian and I say thank you. Thanks. This yeah. has been amazing. We love Athens. <laughs> you have a wonderful state and an even better city. So we thanks, think guys. so. Yeah. And Bruce. <laughs> Goodbye, Bruce. Hopefully someday we can be best friends because you're one of the cutest dogs I've ever met. He just doesn't like my face. <laughs>